<laughs> the next strategy, I, I'll, I'll take a question on this. And the next strategy is called the Zygarnik effect. It's called that because there was a psychologist called Luma Zygarnik who went to a restaurant with plenty of her friends. The waiter impressed the hell out of everyone by remembering who had ordered what and delivered the orders flawlessly. So the entire group was really impressed. When they came out of the restaurant, Bluma remembered that she forgot something. She went back to the restaurant thinking all she has to do is call this guy who had this excellent memory and she would be out of the restaurant like this. But when the waiter met her, he was totally confused. He had no clue who she was, which led her to think as to what's going on. He was so involved, he was so fantastic with memory, and suddenly he, got, he doesn't even know who I am, which led us to this theory of the Zygarnik effect. That is, if there's something incomplete in your mind, it tends to keep popping up. But once the transaction is complete, you don't have any incentive to remember anything about the context that you did that thing. And it's used very well by the movie industry. The best trailers will show you the best scenes of the movie, which make you feel incomplete because you want to understand what happened before those scenes and what, what is going to happen after those scenes. So if a trailer is well made, it prompts you to feel incomplete till you see the movie. So let me wrap up that by just two statements. One is when you are communicating with the clients, leave some information incomplete. And the other critical, extremely critical point I want to talk about the Zygarnik effect is something that I'll tell you later. <coughs>